Hello everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to West of Loathing. I have made a decision. Uh, I'm not going to 100% this game. I, uh... Can you sell me a hoss? Give me the spooky one. If you... <laughs> uh, good choice. It's a good horse if you like that sort of thing. I'll sell it for a thousand meat. What sort of thing? You know, spooky stuff. I don't want to get into no particulars. It says she sets a certain tone. How mysterious. I'll take her. Here's the keys, right safe. Let's name our ghost horse. Boo... That's not the... Bucephalus? Yeah. Bucephalus the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Southwe southeast west map. I love that the west is just a location. On second thought, yeah, let's go grab a buddy. The thing is, is that when you're doing 100% of... When you're playing 100% of um, a free game, who will you take with you? Hmm. Let's go with Susie Cochran. Um, sorry, there's so much reading in this game, so sometimes I can't get a word in edgewise. This is part of why I'm playing Death Gamut, because Souls likes always have a whole lot of really, really open, wide space that will allow the Let's Player to speak about things at length. So you don't have to worry about it. But because this game is like 60, 70, maybe more percent reading, it's hard for me to get a word in edgewise. Um, for a free game like West of uh, Kingdom of Loathing that just takes a while to play, anyone could go play it and it's free. But, uh, ooh, my webcam's freezing again. Um, anyone can go play it and it's just free. But uh, for a game like this that you pay for, obviously showing everything on screen is, you know, denying you some of the gameplay. Also, I am trying to do stuff that, like, a lot of people ordinarily wouldn't do. Um, there, there is this thing in, a like, uh, I, I've chosen to not do the silly walks. And, like, uh, obviously I, I hold no ill will to this person, but I noticed, uh, that by coincidence, somebody else started LPing this game. I don't even know them. It's just that the YouTube algorithm said, oh, you're watching Kingdom, uh, West, of Lo West of Loathing videos? Here's some other new West of Loathing stuff. And, you know, I, I just, you know, clicked on one of my own videos to observe it, make sure that everything went correctly. And they were like, oh, you want more West of Loathing? Here you go. And I can see that he did pick the Silly Walks. Um, and the thing is that, like, I feel like there are so many things in this game... I'm going to start spending my XP manually, by the way. All right. Town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company, Westmost Camp. Um, yeah, I feel like it's, a, it's just a thing where, like, there are so many things in this game that are, like, almost just the silliest option that you could think of. And as a result when you do that in a video game that's a comedy video game most people will just automatically go for it so I kind of want to go for these things because like I want to be able to have a, a unique LP and not 100% in the game will benefit me for doing that as well sorry truck going by um comb her mane saddle up she nays with whispery gratitude now, of course, we can't actually go nowhere. It's your partner. Howdy, Susie. I'd like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts, see how bad the cow attacks are getting. All right, you know some? Not in great detail, but I know roughly where a few are, or at least were. Guess we'll have to see. Not One not too far from here. What do you think we should do next? If you're uh, looking to get a move on westward, I reckon a train's a way to go. Didn't the map that hostler gave you have a marker for a railroad camp? Might be worth checking out. Good idea. Never was much for city living. Too crowded and noisy. We'll be on the trail soon enough. 
Any other ideas? Uh, she says you should see the bartender about running the room in dirt water. Be nice to have a base. Evidently, that's all she can think of. So naturally, you can just speak to your partner. Get a couple ideas about where you should be headed next. Yes, for the same reason, we will be leaving these spittoons alone. Slop or five meat. Great, we got a plate of slop. These guys are having a spirited discussion about guns, and which of theirs is nicer. Does not react to me at all. Howdy there! Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Arizona. Glad to know you, Arizona. Folks around here call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Uh, I saw the sign out front. You advertising a room? That's right. Finest room in the house. Plenty of room for your partner. You interested? How much does it cost? That's where you're in luck. Previous tent was a banker and you paid a month in advance right before getting killed by bandits. You seem decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Gratis. Wow. Uh, you need help with anything? If you're handy with the mechanical type stuff, something's gone wrong with our player piano player. I thought the music sent it off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. See what I can do. I poked around in there myself, but I lost the key. This is taking a strange turn. Hey Susie, what do you think of the place? Is that right? Town's a bit busy for my taste, but it makes a change for being on the road. Gotta wash the dust off once in a while, right? Yep. They can go out and collect new dust. <laughs> do you... Who's that old man? Oh, that's Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and poet. Came out west to tell stories, but nobody were buying. Too weird his stories. Fantastical like. Too bad. I love that stuff. Well, it didn't matter much now anyway. He had to get a normal work to make ends meet. Did pass him well as prospect until one day he lost his mind in a mind. He what now? You know what I mean. He saw something. Something made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking near completely come to that. Stands near the piano nowadays. Seems to calm him down as long as he doesn't make no trouble. I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Hello? See you later. These guys fell asleep mid-brawl. Your room. Susie's bed. You call yourself a four... A four flushing, four flushing jerk. You're not liable. Uh, you're not. You better not insult yourself anymore. You get angry, you're liable to pass out. Blank postcard. So if you get angry enough, you can actually. I forget exactly how it works. I so rarely actually like die or game over in this game. Uh, blank postcard. Write to your family home, in case you don't know how the mail works. You send these by going to a building called a post office and give it to the correspondence wizard who works there. I forget exactly how it works. You, like... If you lose a battle, you get angry. If you get three stacks of... Or if you get two stacks of angry, you pass out and wake up back here. You can also only eat and drink so much stuff. Yeah, because we only have one stomach capacity, one liver, and one spleen. So these, yeah, these are all potions, these are all booze, and these are all food. Hey, what are you doing in here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry, I was just, you know, looking around. So you know he's a type, eh? Well, I prefer adventurous. As it happens, it's something you can do for me. I'm out of salt, Peter. I need someone to go pick me up more. Salt, Peter, isn't that used to make gunpowder? And other things. Look, there's the chef here. Me or you? Uh, yep. My face is doing it again. Okay, where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp. Because it's used to make gunpowder. Uh, shut up. The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. BRB. Got that saltpeter yet? No. Atop this pot-bellied stove is a pot full of slop. A pot stove top slop pot. <laughs> This is where he preps his ingredients for cooking. It's also where he parks his beer. All right, enough of that. Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? I like, I, I do feel like in, in the sense of this game, this table's full. I like how in the logic of this game, this is another thing where they randomize it, by the way. Uh, in the logic of this game, they, they'll sometimes just have stuff. 
Let's ante up. Uh, it's the first round. The pot is 60 meat, and you estimate your chance of winning is 30%. You check and start expending your fingernails. Let's gumptiously raise... Oh, I lost meat. We'll cleverly raise? I lost. Oh. That's okay. Oh yeah, we're doing you. I think we need a needle. Yeah. Hey there, welcome to Dirtwater Mercantile. Cookbook, binos, shovel. Let's grab that. Advanced bean craft. It's a recipe for wall-shaped beans that looked... A wall-shaped pile of beans that looks interesting. It's bean wall. Which protects you from ranged attacks. Oh, that's the, um... That's the thing where you can uh, make a little piece of cover to stand in front of. Or behind, even. Uh... Meditation technique to let you concentrate while cooking or fighting. The old bean uh, increases your mysticality. Article about butter and beans and the juxtaposition gives you an idea. Butter bean, which uh, debuffs the opponent. I think this one's really useful, but I like this one too. Let's go with butter bean. Unfortunately, a lot of butter got splashed in the book while you were practicing, and it's illegible. I really do like that every single book in the game has a thing where, like, uh, has a thing where you can, like, post of ice, post office, right? Uh, it has a thing where you can, you have to get rid of the book because the player can't hold on to it, and they don't want to have the Skyrim thing of, like, well, logically, considering that when you eat a potion ingredient to learn how it works, and you eat food by doing the same action, when you read a book and consume it, obviously you must be eating the book. Hi, I'm Arizona Tex. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. All right, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, letting you know you've been okay. What have you been up to, and you're okay. That'll be... Oh, it's a prepaid. That'll be zero meat, then. I need to buy some envelopes, actually. I have a letter to send. Howdy, you're the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. I will offer. Do you have law enforcement experience? Have you been to sheriff school? Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with the local ordinances? Do you even live here? No. Then what, may I ask, in tarnation makes you think you, you'd be qualified to be sheriff? Well, I just assumed. You assumed you could just mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day? When you put it that way. If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist kid who wanders in here thinking of the most important tenderfoot to ever stop on iron, I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. Sorry. It's okay. Like I said, it happens all the time. Need any help until you find a new sheriff? Sheriff ain't any good with a gun. I always someone who needed some justice. Want a poster back there? Selves or yonder? I love how these are clearly just sticky to the wall. Like they have a little bit of like a... What is it? Parallaxing? Ugh. I'm getting a migraine. It's a wanted poster. No, you misread it. It's a wasted poster? Close enough. Wasted, the stripy hat gang, for grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism, in Cavern Canyon. Thousand meat. Dirty paint thieves, and, uh, dirty rotten paint thieves, and low down, no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Wanna get them? It's a wanted poster, or a wanted poster, if accuracy is important. The House in the Desert Gang, for mortgage on payment, squatting, general public nuisance. Also, murder and two collection agents. You wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go after them? It's so awesome. I do gotta say, I kind of like, I just enjoy the combat in this game, straight up. Lot available. Um. Not a lot available past this point. That's funny. Um, this is the thing that I talked about, but in games like a, like a Fallout, you have the option to talk your way out of fights. Sorry, I'm going to drop my audio a little more. Um, you have your way to talk your way out of fights. 
sweet smell of flowers. Uh, and like that's cool, I, I guess. But like sometimes I kind of do prefer just shooting my way out of things. I really enjoy combat in a lot of games. I enjoy RPG combat, and like there's there's almost this emphasis on making sure that you play Fallout or a game like that right. Um, like a uh, Planescape. I, I've never heard anyone talk about the Planescape combat, even though it's just regular D&D combat. It's like third edition, I think. Um, and the reason for that is because you can do third edition D&D combat anywhere, but only in Planescape can you talk to people and talk your way out of everything. Um, it's just kind of like, I do enjoy like fighting my way out of things. It's fun. I like that. Let's go to the desert house. At the middle of the desert, you find an abandoned minecart. It's sitting on a section of minecart tracks 12 feet long, which starts nowhere in particular and ends even less somewhere in particular. It's mostly old plain rocks, not even interesting looking ones. Uh, you left, if you left without searching thoroughly, you'd end up missing, driving yourself crazy late with the thought you missed something valuable. And so you spend a good half hour and find one that might be worth something. By the way, this map is very, like, much Fallout inspired. And I feel like some people could do that because we're, t we're, we're seeing a lot of games where it's like, Elden Ring, all the Assassin's Creeds, uh, all the Far Cries where it's like, you want to go somewhere? You will walk for six minutes. Um, and it's a, uh, uh, it's not bad per se, but like one thing that was pretty clean about Fallout is that like the only locations that matter and are important and go somewhere and matter and are something are the only ones actually modeled. Every, everything else takes place on this big map. And so you can simulate a long journey and get the same feeling because there's an in-game clock. And I feel like that really works. You know, in something like a like an Elder Scrolls, I, I mention this a lot, but Elder Scrolls is not just an RPG. It's also meant to be a life simulation thing. And that's why you get people who walk around and go to work and drink at the bar after work and go to bed at the same time every night so they can wake up tomorrow. Because um, it's life simulation stuff. And that's something that like Elden Ring and a lot of other games don't have. And sometimes you kind of lose that. What I'm saying is, is that you can afford to be cheaper with your game development decisions. You don't need to make an entire map. You can just make the 20 or so important locations and call it a day. There's a lot that you can learn from Fallout, and this game has. Well, with the talking and the map and everything. Uh, sorry, I'm doing that. Th I, I mentioned this earlier, but because this game is so much reading, I have to stop all gameplay in order to talk in case I have a big spiel. This doesn't happen in a big RPG uh, with a lot of walking. This is the thing when, when all combat or um, travel is like very truncated. Because if I want to go somewhere, then I'm just there. 